Remember me? I'd have to lose all the brain cells in my head before I forget something as fine as you. You know I stay pimping the pros. Let's get it. You know it's hard out here for a pimp When he trying to get this money for the rent For the Cadillacs and gas money spent We'll have a whole lot of bitches jumping shit What's the deal, man? It's your boy, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205, man. Definitely back in the building, man. Welcome to another episode of Pimping the Pros. All right, so if you now, uh, you should be hip by now because we're in week five or episode five, rather. Uh, you should be hip to what's going on, but basically this is a poetry podcast. And uh, every Tuesday and Thursday, usually around 10 p.m., um, I drop a, a few jewels that that I actually wrote, and then we do take uh, guest poets as well. So make sure that if you've got work that you want to have featured on either one of the shows, Tuesday or Thursday, make sure you send that audio file of uh, any spoken word that you have to uh, pimping the pros at gmail dot com. All right, that's p i m p i n t h e p r o s e at gmail. Dot com. So make sure you do that. You can send your work and we'll feature it on either one of those days, Tuesday or Thursday. Um, and you'll be featured on the show. So make sure you send that information to you so you can, uh, you know, so you can get on. All right. So today, man, um, happy Tuesday. Uh, but today uh, I've got a piece that was actually inspired um, by Erica Badu. Right. <laughs> so. All right. So let me explain. Uh, way back in, uh, I think that was like 97 or something when. Baduism first came out. Uh, I remember I was still in high school and I was I was up at Eastern Michigan University. Shout out to EMU. Uh, I was up there visiting my cousin, and uh, I won't say his name because we were doing some underage drinking up there, so I won't put him on blast. Um, but I remember being at his uh, at his off campus apartment, and uh, I heard you know this this full album of Erica Badu, and it was a song on there uh, called "The Other Side of the Game." Uh, if you remember that song. Um, basically, she was talking about, you know, the dude she was with and how he sold dope or whatever. He had like a, you know, alternative lifestyle and, uh, you know, how that kind of hurt their relationship or how it could hurt their relationship. But she still went through it. All right. So that's what uh, that's kind of what uh, sparked my interest in this whole subject matter. So it's not a relationship piece, but it is uh, it is like an examination of the other side of the game, which is uh, basically what I entitled this piece. So I'm getting ready to get to it now, and I hope you enjoy it. Once again, this is the other side of the game. The other side of the game. Cartier frames, rubber bands and bills, ice dancing and lights like strippers on poles, paying for school, everybody's diamond, until St. Louis blew up the spot. Making it rain presidents who fucked our very existence, but still flood floors with their remnants. Gold bottles like royalty. Look closer. Wipe the lens and then focus. White bricks and elbows of earth's green sedate societies into a senseless abyss. Families left traumatized. Seeds planted only a few years prior never have chances to sprout. Cut down by selfish greed. Birth by struggle turn hustle while inside wombs tormented by the same means making her drop drop it like it's hot hot as steel when it's blast predestined to lose prepared to fail duct taped in tears reversing and forwarding in thought coming up with no answers to equations making no equation to what to come turned up with turncoats then too late to react strapped up and slapped up Wipe the lens again. See it clear as diamonds on Cartier frames, rubber bands, and bills. The other side of the game. That's that piece, y'all. All right, so look, man. That's <laughs> yo. That's, that's my piece right there. I, I do. Uh, I do enjoy that though because uh, I, I think there's some 
definitely some reality to a lot of those lines. I mean, what it is is that when you come from, you know, a place like where we come from, uh, the 48205, which is where I was born and raised, um, there's a lot of glitz and glamour. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you mentioned at the beginning of the poem where it says Cartier frames and rubber bands and bills. Like, all those things are enticing when you're coming from a place of, you know, poverty where you haven't really experienced things or things that you think kind of make life. Um, but then it's the, it's the other side of the game, though. It's the other side of the game that's not often talked about. You know, like uh, just to give you an example, like further down in the middle where it says, uh, let me see where we at. Oh, where it says uh, duct taped in tears, reversing and forwarding and thought coming up with no answers to equations, making no equation to what's to come. All right. And what that line or what those series of lines means is basically um, you're looking at all the Cartier frames, the, the rubber band bills, like the fun, the glitz and glamour. But then you, you got to look at the other side, which is. Uh, like when the shit go bad, like because things can often go bad, and that's where uh, that term duct taped in tears comes from. Because oftentimes, like I know a lot of women who have experience with dope boys, like it's all glitz and glamour until you know somebody get abducted and you get duct taped, and that's where I got that whole image from, uh, duct taped in tears, and then you coming up with no answers to the equations because like it's making no sense. You're trying to make it add up but you're coming up with no answer and making it no equation to what's to come. So not only are you not coming up with answers, but you don't even know what's about to happen after that. Like, are, are you going to live or die? And see, that's the other side of the game that people just don't talk about. The part that needs to be talked about so maybe we can stray people away from, you know, some of these situations. And then a, another part that I like is a little further down uh, where it says, turned up with turncoats, then too late to react strapped up and slapped up all right so what that means is basically uh turncoats all right turncoats is basically you know traitors like people who you thought had your back but next thing you know they stab you in the back and that's why that term turned up with turncoats mean like you partying with these same dudes but they really like they plotting for your downfall like this is you know a real life scenario right here so that's why i'm excited about this piece man and it was it kind of was uh, evoked by uh, Erica Badu's song, Other Side of the Game, because I think a lot of people just don't understand the other side of the game. All they see is, like, the glitz and glamour. Again, the Cartier frames, the rubber bands and bills. And that's why, like, after it goes through that whole process, and then you just, uh, there's mention of wiping the lens. And that just means, like, refocusing, like, really paying attention to what's really happening. And then at the end, it goes back. And this is because a lot of people actually find out the reality, the reality of the game, but they still go back. And that's why at the end, it goes all the way back to the beginning. Because you wipe the lens, you think that you're getting focused, but next thing you know, you don't, you, you, you're seeing it for what you thought it was in the first place. And that's why if you've ever talked to, you know, old hustlers or people who used to sell dope or people, um, you know, who used to live a, a certain lifestyle, they often say that they, they miss the, the thrill or they miss the rush of the things they used to do. And this and that's exactly what that is. Like, even though you think you're getting focused, like somehow you still keep getting back to that, you know, that one thing, the thing that intrigues you. So, um, yeah, that's that piece, y'all, the other side of the game. I hope that you enjoyed that as much as I enjoy reading it and sharing it with you guys. Um, don't forget that you can send your own work uh, right over to us and we can feature it on one of the episodes uh, which does come out every Tuesday and Thursday and is available on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube and all that good stuff. Uh, make sure you do uh, go to eblockradio.com also and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you get a uh, alert every time that we go live. But send that information or that audio file to pimpinthepros at gmail.com. That's P-I-M-P-I-N-T-H-E-P-R-O-S-E at gmail.com. All right, so I'm going to thank y'all for hanging out with me tonight, man. Hope you enjoyed the piece. And I look forward to hearing from some guest poets pretty soon here. But till the next time, man, you already know what it is. It's Pimpin' the Pros. And it's your boy, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205. Peace out, y'all.